Psychology professor at Northwestern University is apologizing for permitting a live sex act to take place in front of his students, but maintains he doesn't see any harm in what happened. The university is investigating the incident in which a pair of guest speakers at a human sexuality class performed the graphic demonstration. Professor J. Michael Bailey had repeatedly stressed attention, attendance was optional. It was after the actual lecture part of the class, and he warned it would be graphic. Joining me now, former prosecutor and defense attorney Karen DeSoto, also here, former prosecutor, former contestant on The Apprentice, Masa Saidi Azkoui. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. I, I, I'm just going to say one thing beforehand. I'm listening to this uh, professor uh, say that he's issuing an apology. Hey, I'm sorry it took place. I still don't see what's wrong with it. <laughs> that, to me, is not an apology. I don't know about you. No. I, I, I'm, I'm really confused about Absolutely that one. Not. But <laughs> apology aside, or a weak one, whatever that is that he's doing, uh, Karen, did anything happen in terms of breaking the law? Well, I know what Charlie Sheen would say. <laughs> However, uh, no, it's not breaking the law. Obviously, it's probably a violation of the school handbook, I'm sure. Mm. However, if you were doing this on the street, whether or not you got the permission from people, you would charge somebody with a lewd and lascivious act. Okay, but this was a closed room, so mm. therefore, it really, it, you're not going to arrest somebody, you're not going to charge somebody with that. Now, of course, I'm sure there's a hierarchy at Northwestern, and if he didn't get permission from somebody or from his boss, then he may be facing disciplinary charges himself. So he may lose his job, but he's not going to be charged with a crime. Okay. What about Masa, the fact that he did not do it during class? He said, this is optional. No student is required to do this. And apparently he warned that class a good 10 plus times. This is going to be graphic. Trying to give them an idea of what they were in for. Does that make it fine? It doesn't make it fine at all, Alex. The issue is whether the students felt coerced or compelled to attend and whether they felt victimized as a result of being subjected to this extremely vulgar act. College professors, they have authority, they're in a position of power, whether or not they like you impacts your grade. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you show a sincere interest in the topic, it can impact it up to an entire grade level. So I think we need to investigate, we need to speak with the 500 plus students in the class to see whether they felt compelled to attend, and I'm sure that at least some of them did. And I disagree with your point that they were warned. This was a spur of the moment decision to have this demonstration. So what are you supposed to do? Get up and walk away? and say, I don't feel comfortable. I don't... Uh, okay, now, now what you both are talking about, and Karen, to you, you say right. he's not going to be charged criminally, potentially, for right. this who's behind closed doors and like yeah. How about a civil lawsuit? Well, you know, until what are you going to do? Intentional infliction of emotional distress? I mean, I mean, look, there are students who came out of thinking... Oh, uh, okay. They're, they're, they're they're what I just saw. I would be you traumatized. Know, they're, they're, over oh, the, yeah. they're over the age of, of 18, that's, obviously. And that's the point he makes. He says, look, they're legal adults. Exactly. And people are exposed to traumatic things. People get shot in front of people. Mm -hmm. you know, And you can sue for that, actually. If you're within a certain distance, you have the right to sue for intentional affliction of emotional distress. Will that happen? Probably not. I mean, will people be brought up in charges? Will the professor get in trouble? Is it a violation of the student handbook? Yes, but who's going to litigate How about if like you decide to hold this model? off campus. If he'd done the same in his home or the home of this engaged couple that, you know, did this charming thing, um, you know, how about that? Would that then have cleared him of anything? Um, I think it would be better as the students would feel maybe less compelled to attend if it's being held off campus. But I think the point of it is I support academic freedom. I just don't right. see any academic purpose, no educational purpose. I kind of think that it's a very creepy thing. I question the professor. I don't think he should be at the university. And Masa and is right because if the students were solicited, if they were his students, whether it's off campus or on campus, because of the internet and all of those laws that are now coming apparent, and off campus parties, Masa is right. Yeah. The, the, they're still students if they felt like they were solicited, unless of course he put an ad on Craigslist and said, come to my house, right, I'm right. going to do a sexual act for Whoa. educational purposes, yeah. then okay. But you know what? It, the okay. virtual world, and, watch a video. And, and, and how, how about getting to pay for that as a parent? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, there's now, your tuition already then. If they, were, right that, if they okay. were smoking Charlie Sheen while they were viewing this act, then maybe we would have a different story. All right, ladies, here we go. We're going to talk about some other things later with the both of you. Karen DeSoto, Masa Saidi, Azkui, thank you very much.